Okay, here's another item I'm adding, also by Gold Strike. These are these little floorboards for the gold wing. And I got gloss black because my bike is black. Now make sure when you buy this that you get it with the adapters. They sell these both ways. And if you don't get the adapters, you're not gonna be able to connect it. You're gonna use some of your existing hardware, uh, but you're gonna need those adapters. So let me show you here. Of course, you start out with a stock peg like this. And of course, it's sitting in here if you can see that at an angle, well, you've got a cotter pin here. So you take that uh, factory cotter pin out, remove your bolt here, comes out to the top, remove the internal spring, because you're gonna reuse that. And then once you've taken that out, of course, pull your old peg off. Here's the old peg. Now, to insert the new one, you're gonna use these adapters. Here's one of the adapters I'm gonna get ready to use on the other side. You can see it has these teeth cut out of it. And what you're gonna do is this little slider piece with teeth is going to connect up and give you a locking platform. So you're gonna literally insert this in First, reuse your pin, put your washer back on, your cotter pin back in, and then it's going to be sitting out there like this. And then you're going to take your pad, your new one, and you're going to take this slider here and determine your position, how far back or how far forward you want it. Now remember, the teeth are out, turned out, because as I told you earlier, they're gonna connect and give you that locking spot. So as you move this in and out, you can determine how far up or back you wanna move this. And then all you're gonna do is come underneath here, and they send you these, this hardware. Here's your locking washers and all here. See, there's your locking washers. So after you've lined that spline up, then you're gonna drive these 5 16 screws in there and then pivot this and tighten them down. So let me show you now. Look underneath here. You can see there's those 5 16 and locking washers. And you could pivot this at whatever angle you need and then lock it down. And you can see I've reinstalled the factory cotter pin. And let me get you a view. Now you can see, it's just a little mini pad. And in another video, I showed you that brake pad. So let me, let me get up here and I'll show you how much difference this makes now. So you can see, I mean, it gives me a good platform now to rest my foot, plus it gives me more brake, you know, and I can rest. That's much better than those factory, especially if you got a big foot like mine. So that's the right side. And notice how I've got these turned, uh, looking at the photos and videos, the wider part toward here, so. All right, so the right side is done now. And of course, you, you can see your spring's been reinserted in here. Uh, so now I'll do the left side and I'll make a video. Hopefully this is helpful. This is a 2022 gold wing uh, using the gold strike floorboards. And there's your part numbers. I got it with driver adapters, of course. All right.